Hey YouTube, welcome to a new video. I'm Philip Jacob and you're watching Metal Beings. On today's video, we are going to be seeing the Mercedes-Benz GLA 35 AMG. As mentioned before, the car we are checking out today is the Mercedes-Benz GLA 35 AMG version. And first looks itself, we can clearly say that this car is looking much more sportier than the normal GLA version. So while checking in the technical aspects of the car, the first thing we notice are these headlights. You get the multi-beam LEDs which have 18 individual LEDs in them. They have the adaptive content so that they can do the automatic high beam, low beam all by themselves. And while checking out the grills, you get the AMG specific radiator grills with the three pointed star in the middle. And while checking out the bumpers, you again get a sporty bumper with the black chrome finish and silver finish, which gives a very good sporty stance for the car. And for the wheels, you get 19 inch alloy wheels, which are five twin spoke alloy wheels, which is from AMG. And you get the AMG high performance brakes. As you can notice, the brake calipers are silver in color with the AMG badging on them. And you also get perforated discs for better braking efficiency. So while checking the side profile of the car, as you can notice, you get black claddings for the wheel arches. You get 360 degree sensors for this car. On the front quarter panel, you get the turbo formatic badging, which means that this car is also a four wheel drive. And while checking out the outside rear view mirrors, you get electrically foldable mirrors with the indicators incorporated into them. You get a dual tone finishing with the body color on top and the black color on the bottom. You get chrome finishing for the window outlines and also a silver finish for the side skirts. The same body cladding passes to the rear of the wheel arches also. And while checking out the roof, you get the aluminium finishing for the roof rails which are both practical and gives a very good look for the car you get a panoramic sunroof too which can be open from the inside and gives a lot of roominess for the cabin in and while checking the side profile all the amg kits give a very good sporty look for the car and while checking out the rear portion of the gla 35 amg on the right hand side you have the gla 35 badging and on the left hand side you have the amg badging with the three pointed star in the middle you have full led adaptive tail lamps which means that in case of an emergency braking they flash more bright so that it informs the rear passenger also to have an emergency braking you get a amg roof spoiler with the body color gives a very good sporty character for the car and while checking out the rear bumpers you get the bumper with a dual tone effect which has a black and silver finishing also on them you get twin exhaust tail pipes which are in silver chrome finish gives a very good sporty sense from the rear too the engine is a 2 liter petrol engine which produces 306 bhp and 400 newton meters of torque it is coupled to a 8 speed gearbox it can go from 0 to 100 in just 5.1 seconds and can top out at a speed of 250 kilometers per hour and while opening the front doors, as you can notice, the electrical seat adjustment is given on the doors with three memory functions. And you have all the controls of the windows. You get a Burmester surround speaker system with a lot of space also on the doors. The door panels also have the microfiber materials which give a very good premium look. You get AMG floor mats and a door sill with the AMG badge which is lit. The seats are made out of Artico leather and Dynamica microfiber with a contrast stitching of red which gives very good support while you are seated and also the steering has the Napa leather with the red contrast stitching which gives a very good look for the car. So right now we are seated inside the driver's seat of the GLA 35 AMG. You get a beautiful AMG steering wheel. Left hand side you have the controls for the media and the telephone and on the right hand side you have the controls for the speed limiter and the cruise control. You get haptic touch sensors on the left and right through which you can adjust the screens in the front. You get a widescreen cockpit. 
The instrument screen is a 10.25 inch screen whereas the main instrument display is a touch screen which is again 10.25 inches. Just below you have the air turbine inspired AC vents which also have the ambient lighting slit in them. You have the AC controls and further below you have a small space wherein you have a wireless charging pad, C port charging point and a 12 volt socket two cup holders with an ashtray inside. You have a touchpad through which you can enter in data and also control the main screen. That is the place where you rest your wrist. Left hand side you have the controls to adjust the engine response and on the right hand side you have the suspension response. And further down you have the hand wrist which can be opened with a small space and also with a C port charging point inside and while checking out the dashboard you have the aluminium finishing for the trims and ambient lightings of 64 color combinations on the whole and while checking out the seat bills you get the red seat bills which is absolutely sporty and while checking out the rear doors as you can see you have a decent space to keep a one liter water bottle you have the same treatment as what you had in the front doors you have very decent amount of leg room and headroom at the rear seats you get AC vents at the rear so that you are very comfortable at the rear too. The panoramic sunroof gives a lot of roominess for the cabin out over here. And while checking out the center console at the rear, you also get the seaport charging points at the back so that the rear people also have a power source. And the AC vents give a lot of comfort for the rear. While checking out the boot, just with a press of a button it is an active tailgate which can open and close automatically just with a press of a button this amg version comes with the spare wheel on top which might take a little bit of space but still there's a lot of space left of practicality wherein you can load in and have a very practical usage out of this car a very spacious car and a practical car with a lot of power punch into it and again with just a press of a button the door closes and we are all set. So that's it from me guys on the Mercedes-Benz GLA 35 AMG. If you have any doubts, please do mention it down on the comment box below. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe and support me and the channel's growth. I'll see you guys later in another video with another car. Until then, goodbye.